This is a short video about the door stop check hinge mechanism on a Mercedes 107SL. Now these items do break and wear out over time. So this video is about how to get it off the car, what can go wrong and how to put it back together after you've refurbished it and where to get the parts from and how much they cost. We need the door stop from the parts car. But as with everything else on this gold parts car, everything's so rusted that these pins are not coming out. There should be a special clip here that holds the pin in that's rusted away. You should be able to tap that out. So we're just using an angle grinder to cut it. We've got to be careful that we don't cut anything else because we need many of the parts of this car. We've had to cut this pin here with an angle grinder. And we'll just have to try and tap that out. This door's pretty knackered. You'll see that these are the drain holes along the bottom here. And they normally get clogged up with all sorts of rust, etc., which is why the doors rust at the corners. And there's not much to salvage on this door. These little pieces here, if you need to take them out, they just twist and pull, twist and pull straight up. They'll be useful to somebody who has cracked theirs or lost theirs. The reason for taking this door off is because there's a fitting in here a hex fitting that we couldn't get to without taking the door off. It actually came out remarkably easy, probably could have done it with a um, set of Allen keys with the benefit of hindsight. Should allow us to reach inside and take out that door stop. This is going to need a little bit of cleaning, some grease on there, and then we're going to have to try and tap that pin out. We've got new pins from Mercedes. So this door stop is just held in with those two bolts. One is through here and one is through here. We're gonna take the springs off this door check mechanism, just remembering which way round they go. And hopefully we're gonna be able to put them back on, but not after we've cleaned all of this up and then sprayed it, sprayed it up with some MRO chrome galvanizing paint. When it comes to putting this spring back on, you could try and get a pair of pliers here and pull that and hook it on there. But a neat little trick is to actually use some thin coins to put between the coils of the spring. So what you do is you bend the spring back like that. We're just going to use one pence coins because we're in England. And you put it, put the one pence pieces in between the coils. And you'll find that if you put enough of them in there, it'll actually lengthen the spring. So we're just going to do that. got enough coins in to stretch the spring it should just be a matter of pulling these out one by one and that should allow you to oops, put that in it helps if you use small coins in this particular case so they don't bash on the bottom of there find that it's much easier to put these springs on first and then use something like a allen key just to wedge down into that hole there and then to bend this back like so and open those jaws up and insert this in there it's much easier to do that than it is to try and stretch those to put that in first and stretch those springs all the way before you put this back on the car don't forget to put grease on the runners and all the tracks here and also on the back. These door pins and clips came from Mercedes. Um, we've got one for each side. The door pins are £5.70 plus VAT and the clips are £1.20 plus VAT. And these are the part numbers here. 107991, 1307 for the pin and 912001006001 for the little this is the door stop from the other side and that did not want to leave the car once again we had to take the door off and we could not get that little um allen bolt out there and would you believe that that little screw there costs five pounds from mercedes so whatever you do don't round it and end up having to drill it out because it is very very expensive to replace now when we took this off i don't know how well you'll be able to see this 
this pin here is actually broken on this side and the result of that has probably been broken for some years and the result of that is every time the doors opened instead of these rollers rolling which they should do the door stop mechanism was just rubbing against that there and over the years that's rubbed that flat so unfortunately this is not a part that we're going to have we can refurbish we're going to have to get a new one or a second hand one new there about 200 and something pounds but we should be able to get a second hand one on the right for the right hand side of the car for about a hundred pounds but unfortunately that is an unexpected cost a couple of other unexpected costs our parts car had a broken piece of chrome here so we needed to get another one of those similarly when we took this part of the door mechanism off the parts car that just snapped in half so we've had to get another one of those and this just sheared off when we try to take it off so we'll have to get another one of those so the costs are certainly mounting up on this project but we are getting there slowly but surely it is a painstaking job every single piece has to be de-rusted and then painted with the right paints um, so the next video we're going to actually be putting the door back together and then after that we'll be finishing the door cards and putting that on as well we got the MRO chrome galvanized paint from these guys here Moss um, they've got a sale on at the moment £15.84 it's not cheap but it gives a very good finish um, and it's uh, got zinc enamel in it so it's quite a tough coating as well